to eat all. Wonderful. Another few days collecting data, and we'll have the cure for cancer. Something's showing up on the radar. Looks like it's right outside the ship. Viewing screen. Gravity geeks are due for a little safety investigation. Well, uh, let me be the first to welcome you aboard. Thank you, son. That's a nice mustache you got there. Had one like it myself. Then one day I put my cigar in backwards and boom! I left one up like a tender box. But I don't smoke. None of us do. And I'm sure you will find that our ship is the safest outpost in the galaxy. That's what they said when I inspected the Titanic. But I shot them different. Unsinkable, my good eye! Uh-oh! What's going on over here, Princess Leia? It is a refrigeration experiment. We're freezing this produce with liquid nitrogen. Well, that's fine and dandy. But remember, in space, no one can hear you scream. Let me tell you something! Let's just say you're getting ready to freeze some veggies. And you mistake your hand for a stalk of celery. <laughs> then you go to hang your autographed picture of Chewbacca. And the next thing you know, <laughs> the ice man cometh. <laughs> That demonstration left me a little parched. Don't drink that! That jar contains aliens! <laughs> so that's how they're getting over the border. Hey, you! Come on out and show me your green card! Oh, my God! One of them is missing! Hmm. I wonder where it could be. He's got my eyes! You all right? Are you joking? I've had more parasites living off me than Eddie Murphy. <laughs> alert! Alert! There's an alien roaming free on board! Speaking of roaming free, how come these seats don't have safety belts? We don't need them. This ship is perfectly safe. I beg to differ, Buck Rogers. What if one of your fellow astronauts is a frustrated soprano? He's in the shower. He breaks into a high note from Figaro. <laughs> we've lost Dr. Jones. But we've learned a valuable lesson. Work. Is that a self-destruct sequencer? When was the last time you had that baby tested? Please don't touch that. You know, a gadget like that can be handy, but it can also lead to a very unpleasant <laughs> demise. <laughs> Let's just say you're sleepwalking one night. And you're dreaming Darth Vader just told you he's your father. Naturally, you're completely suicidal, and you program the computer to start the final counter. Like so. Oops. The station will self-destruct in 20 seconds. <laughs> you idiot! Everyone 17. into the shuttle! 16. Please remain calm. 15. He is a fire marshal. 15. Thank you, Hal. 15. You see, Hal knows that all I have to do is use the main computer override key. Nine. Now, if I can only remember which one it is. <laughs> Not that one. Wrong again. Oh, yeah. This is it. One. It's a lifetime of work. Gone. Oh, God. 
They can put a man on the moon, but they can't protect us from ourselves. <laughs> oh. Feels good down the sun on my face. Of course, I'd rather have my face on the sun. Hey, let me show you something.